Body of Hoaxtetsu here down in lower tiers where the power's low but the battles are fierce. And today I'll be continuing my self-proclaimed quest to archive all the battles during the first 7 year tournament, from which thereby I hope to bring light to the tier and possibly help it grow. So join me as we move on to the 12th match of round 3. Our combats this time will be Inferno Dragon versus Malayne Uwu. Inferno Dragon has cut a fierce path through the competition so far, facing off against Tortorax and Flaming Rock in both early rounds, going 2-0 in both bouts. While Malayne Uwu didn't fight in round 1, they did have a solid 2-0 victory against John Filch in round 2. Regardless, their skills shall be witnessed here today by both myself and you the viewer. If you happen to enjoy the video, I humbly request you click that like button. Also subscribe and click that bell if you want to be notified for later uploads. Working together, we can bring more attention to this fascinating metagame. And with all that said, let's begin. Okay, match 12, game 1. Let's play Leap Meta Game. Gullback coming from Inferno Dragon, Tentacle from Malane. Woo, ulu, uwu. <laughs> Gullback sends out a confused ray, which Tentacle does wind up hitting itself twice in a row, where Inferno Dragon goes for the rat, building the damage, slowly having Malane's Tentacle go down within striking range of either Meowth or Charmeleon, depending on where its health winds up. Ooh, critical hit wrap. And Malayne is forced to switch into their Meowth. Tentacle misses its wrap. Inferno Dragon goes to their Ivysaur, which gets hit for a ton of damage. Meowth switch back into Tentacle, which immediately gets put to sleep. Charmeleon for Malayne now. As Charmeleon for Inferno Dragon, nice read. Shelter being switched in, however, and tanking a Fire Spin. It's not going to do a heck of a lot. Granted, it's going to be far more than it would be on Tentacle. Ivysaur was put in and went for a sleep, but Blizzard coming from Shelter and Razor Leaf misses! Two! And Ivysaur goes down! Inferno Dragon gets the first blood! Thunderbolt front oh, on Shelter, but Shelter goes boom! Taking out Meowth! Melane is two mons down already! Gobat goes for the Confuse Ray on Charmeleon and it hits itself in Confusion! Tentacle switched in into Fire Blast! But it gets burned! Gosh dang it. Hydro Pump into the incoming shelter. Are we going to see another explosion? Rap from Tentacle stops it. If it, that was going to be actually be the case. And a quick switch to Ivysaur. It's going to outspeed shelter. Needs to be switched out. And Ivysaur goes for the substitute. Fire Spin from Charmeleon, but misses. Bonnie Slam connects from Ivysaur and paralyzes Charmeleon. And Malayne Uwu forfeits the first match. Not to say I blame him. That was a hectic experience, for sure. All right. On to game two. Gosh dang, that was exciting. All right. Let's play Lead Meta Game. Voltor come from Inferno Dragon Meowth from Elaine Uwu. Instantly, Meowth's having to be switched in for Rhyhorn so it does not get paralyzed. Ivysaur switched in, tanks a body slam, and gets paralyzed itself. Rock Slide connects. Sleep Powder misses. Earthquake connects, but Ivysaur's at 5%. Sleep Powder does connect finally onto Rhyhorn. It's Ivysaur for Melane is switched in. Body slam connects, but unfortunately does not get the paralysis as Ivysaur for Inferno Dragon goes down. Tentacle for Inferno Dragon coming in. Voltorb for Melane gets hit by a blizzard upon entry. Ivysaur switched out again. And Rhyhorn for Inferno Dragon. Nice play by Malayne. Voltorb gets put to sleep as Charmeleon is brought in. And Ivysaur goes for the body slam. No paralysis, though. Forced to switch. Rhyhorn, the sleeping Rhyhorn, goes in. Fire Spin misses. And Tentacle is brought in. Blizzard connects to Rhyhorn, bringing it to 9%. Hydro Pump misses. And Rhyhorn actually wakes up. It's switched out. Ivysaur gets hit upon entry. Blizzard will connect. Ivysaur is sacked and it goes down. Voltorb is now in. Rhyhorn switched in. Thunderbolt, unfortunately, is not going to do anything to Rhyhorn as Cubone is switched in for Malayne. Earthquake hits Rhyhorn and, as we know, Cubone actually has a pretty good chance to take out Rhyhorn, but Inferno Dragon actually switches Voltorb to sack it. Tentacle comes in. It's going to outspeed Cubone. Rhyhorn gets sacked by Malayne. A double ground core, actually. That's interesting. Voltorb is now brought in. Hits a Thunderbolt, but it goes down to Surf. Meowth switched in by Malayne. Rhyhorn comes in. Tanks a Slash. And this is within Bubble Beam range. There we go. Down goes the Rhyhorn. 
Meowth is brought in. Malayne actually wins the first speed tie. Will they be able to win? Will they be able to connect? No, unfortunately, Inferno Dragon wins the second speed tie. Tentacle comes in. It will take a ton of damage, but Meowth will go down. Oh, but Surf misses! 156 glitch miss! And Tentacle goes down. Cubone switched in. Bubble Beam! Speed drop, but Cubone went for counter! Gosh dang it! And Cubone is now down. Inferno Dragon takes the second game, going 2 0. So, what do we learn? Ivysaur with Substitute. A cool divergence from the normal Sword Stance tech that is normally used for the mirror. Sub has potential to help in the Ivy Mirror, but what makes it interesting is the potential variance. The Scouting Edge and possible chance to sleep something like Tent or Charm is certainly awesome. Granted, Charm seems to be a constant normally anyway. A double Ground Core. Definitely a bold strat. Considering both Tentacle and Ivysaur Oko every ground type in the tier, and they're very common, it's a volatile strategy. I admire the gumption, though. With the match over, Inferno Dragon will be continuing on in the WB, while Malayne Uwu will be heading down to the LB with their first elimination. We'll be catching up with them again later, I'm sure. And if you happen to enjoy the video, why not join in on the fun? I've got all the necessary links down in the description, from the resource hub to the Discord. Hope to see you there. And until next time, everybody, take care.